So if wind is a predominant problem for a long range shot, what goes into making a good wind call? Well, we need to know two things. We need to know the wind's speed, and then we need to know the wind's direction. And we need to know that over the entire distance of the shot. People ask, what's the most important wind? Is it at the target? Is it at the muzzle? Is it mid-range? The fact of the matter is, all of those wind values matter. And you need to come up with a basic crosswind value over the distance of the shot. We start off for a wind speed by using something like uh, a Kestrel or other wind meter at the shooter's location, which will help calibrate you to the local effects. Uh, grass, trees, uh, flags, anything that's in the shooter's vicinity that he can see and use to gauge the wind speed. Now, is it more important to gauge the speed at the shooter's location, at mid-range, or at the target? The truth is, it all needs to be taken into consideration. You can't rely just on one point. You have to get a net crosswind value across the entire distance of the shot in order to make a valid crosswind correction. Once we have a speed and direction, we need to somehow calculate that value the simplest way for these formulas nowadays is to simply go online and use any number of ballistic computers that are available, which will compute a very precise solution based on the precision of your input. So once you have the wind speed and direction, we're going to then hold the appropriate correction. 